And we're right. back at the 2018 Crescent City Cup. This is Jackson Smiley over here. And Avery Mojica over here. It looks like we're going to start round eight, the final game of the we're day of start. the Crescent City Cup for 2018 championships. And finally, we will introduce our third commentator. Who didn't want to be introduced, but Josh we're going to so introduce cool. him anyway. I'm eating, no, I'm, I'm, eating, I'm eating pizza, so no, no, it's okay. sort of rude. Wow, who's picking up those tiles um, so fast? Daryl is, like, is so fast at picking up oh, tiles. Oh, wow. That I'm so impressive. slow at picking up tiles. It's weird. I like I, I always have he to pick up this, hands. like, 10 at a time, and that's it. No, but you're right, Jackson. There's a player, Craig Rowland. The speed at which he picks up the tiles is <laughs> insane. And he, he, he does it one at a time. It's crazy. He just There's actually a video bit on YouTube. You should. I'm going to post it in the stream. <laughs> oh, you should. Here, po yeah, post it. I want to see that. But um, be before every game, for those that are not familiar, um, during a tournament, all of the uh, 100 tiles are placed on the board, uh, usually in grids of 5x5, five five, wherever. Um, but just to show both players that all of the 100 tiles are there. All right, so it's uh, underway. They've shaken hands. Oh, you let's shot that, Jeremy. Jeremy, on. I can't find it on YouTube, so if you want to, uh, if you still have it, feel free to post it. Wait, so he picks them up fast or slow? Yeah. He picks them very quickly, just one at a time, just like grabs them and like puts them in his hand. It's 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 quite a delight. <laughs> it's insane. You have to see it like before you die. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. So Jason is first. Doesn't look great. Um, let's see. Oh, I mean, is he going to play QI or Exchange? Uh, he'll play QI. Yeah, he'll probably play QI. Boring. But... He should play it with the Q on the star. It's more exciting, at least. Well, Daryl is very happy with this. Daryl loves tight boards. Yeah. 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 He's gonna play GI or something like that. Just keep keep don't give anything back. No, he'll play like he won't he play like GID. Do G H I. Actually he'll probably do G I D over G I. But he might do G H I. Yeah. Get. So there's the video. Jeremy posted the link to the video that everyone should watch. I'll watch it when the stream is yeah. done. I'm gonna you know what, I'm gonna watch it now. <laughs> I, I've actually seen Craig do more ridiculous things in this in this video. This video is like uh, not his best performance, I would even say. Oh my! What the heck? That's camera. so fast! <laughs> That's All right, so... Jason's sitting on um, seven tiles that would work well on an open board. He could play Overgone with an E, he could play Governor with an R, but instead he has decided with his previous play to keep the board closed. And when that happens, you have to be ready to have racks like those that really just don't work that you would like to have work mm. and you have to be like okay with that otherwise you'll start making bad plays get annoyed i agree yeah and like not focus too much on the fact of what you could have like no matter how much he tries he's not going to get that e on the board for overgone yeah see vog seems like a very reasonable play I am absolutely mystified by Craig Rowland picking up tiles now. <laughs> well, when if you come to Albany, you might see him there. Maybe yeah, I will. Craig is very muscly. He's muscly. Yeah, I, I I saw him at one of the nationals I went to. So, oh, oh, what about Haji and Gi setting up the B? What do y'all think? Super interesting. Totally not worth it. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna he's going to play, earlier he's in gonna the play Haj and was... Avid, like, very fast. Oh, really? Not even what? Hijab and Avid? Hijab and Avid. Uh, I don't like that play. Um... No, he's playing it there. Huh. Not even Jab. Yeah. I guess Haj is, oh, that's interesting, he's setting up his eye. But it, it makes, that, but it makes like, the R, S, and T hook on HL. Hmm. Um, very interesting play. Because um, earlier in the day, I don't know who was still here for around for that, but um, there was a position. Who was it against? I was commentating with uh, Jeremy 
we can, man. And oh yeah, uh, it was Evans, Evans, was it Evans playing. To, it was Evans. Amia. He had the opportunity to play Amia setting up the Z for like a hundred point play, and and the the stream was very divided about whether he should do it. It was sort of like a much more extreme version of Haji. Well, Jason's in big trouble here. Actually, Haj has worked out marvelously yeah. for yeah. Daryl. <laughs> He's sitting on Birch's and Haji, and Birch's and SHO. So maybe he knew no, something we and didn't RHO know. And RHO and SAG, actually. So, like, he's just... Yeah. Oh, man. I always or, wonder why Daryl shuffles his tiles this much, even if there's, like, only one word in it. It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> he found it. Um, yeah. Anyway, and even if Jason plays Raj, it's still not going to stop Birches. Yeah, Nor is about the best he can do there. And thankfully, Birches won't score as much as it could, I guess. Hmm. I'm really thinking about his play of Hodge there. I, w I don't know if I would have considered it. How much does it score? 25. The other Hodge is 30. The one two spaces to the left. And I mean, it does set up his eye and like two eyes already played. Yeah, yeah, it's a very interesting decision. It's, it's, I actually I actually like it more and more. I'm actually surprised. Like, Daryl's style is usually to play the other Hodge. Actually, that does make the Vogs hook very big, though. Yeah, I mean, it's worked out super... This is, like, the best thing you could have hoped for. And Jason... Does and not Jason have doesn't have a great scenes. response, actually. He do doesn't. I think the only... So he has some decisions to make. I think there's only Bing goes through a T, which doesn't exist, and an E, an but it e? doesn't fit. What's the Bingo through an E? An e? What's the, it's an I, not an E. Oh yeah, an I. What's the E? Your, huh? Huh? Am I am I tripping? Yeah, I'm tripping. Okay. Never Who's mind. Here, but um, so he could play Rumen to the N in Nor. I I, he is down. He does want to open stuff up. He has that beautiful, juicy S lane in Birches, just waiting to be double doubled on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at yeah, Daryl. Oh my God, Daryl has in two spots. Oh my God, oh. in two spots. He has it for 102 points with the S though. And then he has That's it with Moho. I think Moho it, it does. Up top. Oh my God, That's ridiculous. Yeah. And yeah, his Daryl dirty, likes exactly. <laughs> Daryl is he gonna likes... see it? I think he is. He, he's gonna shuffle until he's sick, until he does. Oh my God, Daryl, move that Y. Come on. <laughs> uh oh, wrong way. Watch him play Trishium <laughs> with the wrong spelling. <laughs> oh, he's got it. Hey. Ooh, boy. Daryl, you got it. <laughs> I wonder if he saw it the whole time and he's just messing with us. He probably <laughs> is. Yeah. Can you guys hear me masticate? <laughs> nope. Great. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, so no. <laughs> Chew. <laughs> well, I can't hear him do that. I thought he said a different word at first. <laughs> that's why, I, I mean, that's mouth. the word, that's why I use that word. <laughs> yeah, I, fi I figured. <laughs> Actually, you know, um and moho, I'm starting to like more. A-E-G-N-O. Yeah. R is pretty is pretty solid. I wonder how many nines um, you can draw into, ending in U M. I don't know. I'm calling it. I really don't think Jason's going to win this game. Well, <laughs> considering how <laughs> Daryl managed to draw that, like it plays for 102 and like 88 or something at the top. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think what Jason should do is play C. Um, because Daryl's going to be so afraid of the S hook that he's going to sacrifice all his points to block. That is <laughs> not even kidding. And he played tummy or something. Oh, Daryl's back to shuffling. Yeah, if that's even a word. Well, he might not be sure that Itrium takes an S. That, I mean, that's true. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. it does plural. Excuse me. It does pluralize with Itria. Yeah. yeah. I but that like also, a lot of those UM but take Itria the takes an S. Oh yeah, how does that work? Why does that happen sometimes? Itria is a chemical compound, and Itrium, itrium is an element, element, and Itria is a 
compound. Oh, so there's a different thing. Oh, he blocked Atriums. Good job, Jason. And now he's going to be upset to see. I wonder, I wonder if Daryl's going to see Moho. I think he will. There they go, the nerves again. Not scoring things properly. I'm awful at scoring things in tournaments. Kate, why are you simming this? <laughs> <laughs> he wants this. We want to see all the other things that don't ha that happen when you don't have when you don't play Yttrium. Also, Kate's an yeah, annoying spot it. because okay, yeah, he sees it. Good job, Derry. Look at that. I don't know, so Kate. I just... think you. I think you should start masticating or something. Like that's that's less boring. <laughs> oh, Jason drew a blank. Jason's okay. Yeah. Oh, not quite an naysayer. That would be nice, though. He's got Noah, Wal Noah Walton played naysayer against me last night in Blitz. Awesome. With a blink. Oh my oh, god, Daryl. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god. This is just too much now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wanted um, to end the, game with an, end of the day with another close game, but instead we have to see that. Although, good on Daryl. Well, I mean, it, it hasn't played yet. Like, it... I don't know if it's going to play. Well, actually, it doesn't have a spot. I, that's Emmy. That's I thought. I thought it played on column M. Never mind. Hmm. So does Jason just have one bingo here? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I didn't even see the bingo. I'm awful. Wow. Oh, I didn't see it either. It's well, kind of like unfortunately, <laughs> he's just given Daryl a spot. Oh, oh, oh my God. Jason's gonna triple triple. Like it's it's the only thing that's fair. I don't know. Has Jason done anything wrong this game? No, we're not really. But like Daryl yeah, had patent well. tour. He had patent tour through the T, so it's like Oh he did a patent tour, yeah. I, I just noticed it. Right. Like right as the right as it's, Kate clicked the generate choices thing and started simming all his bingos. Uh, it's cool that like all three bingos fit next to an earring. <laughs> I don't think it's cool at all. <laughs> oh, he doesn't see the sevens. Oh, he's nervous. Okay. Or he just doesn't want to open the triple triple in. I think that's definitely it. I think knowing Jason, he really does not. Want, sorry, knowing Daryl, he doesn't want to take that risk. He's super conservative. Um. Okay. Sure, that makes sense. I think it's a Texan thing. I think a lot of the Texas players play kind of like that. <laughs> All right, Jackson. The bingo tax. Bingo tax. Oh, he has fork as a nice uh, parallel to a nearing. Okay, there is still hope for Jason after that draw by Daryl. He has Bozy for like 64. Where's that? Oh my god. God, that's beautiful. It even keeps some scoring tiles as well, which is great. Oh, that is Andrew garbage, so. Great spot. Yeah, you know, he's he could if he like draws well next turn, he's definitely in this game. Thankfully the sim agrees. <laughs> So there we go. There's no open K for Equelle. <laughs> That'd be nice. He probably has some word that's valid in yodeling Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that took an interesting turn just now. I mean, I'm not yeah. wrong. Jason drew pretty well. That's like, like a nice draw for him. He has a cakey. He has a lot of stuff. That's great. 
So, is Daryl going to play through? I think he probably is. I think, yeah, I think I think there's like a disconnect between where you guys are in the stream and where I am in the stream. I think I'm a little bit further ahead than you guys are. Well, what are you, what are you, uh, what are you seeing right now? Well, I see him with Liu on his rack right now. Okay, never, never mind. Physics is the one that's behind. I'm getting confused. Yeah, you're okay, confusing so me now. <laughs> I'm I'm confusing everybody. Yeah, I think I think physics is just behind, and I'm stuck on thinking about how yodeling Scrabble would work. <laughs> you just have to yodel your scores. So, what do you guys think is going through Daryl's head right now? Because uh, he is in a quite an interesting position. He's ahead a whole bingo score, and he has just not really any any way to keep that lead going. He can score 10, 10 12 points. But, yeah. like, Lou has accomplish? the downside of forking the board, though. Yeah, no. I guess he's, he's probably just worried about, uh, like, what's going to happen no matter what he plays. Um, right. Oh, interesting. Oh. I, he I almost played I IR. I actually... I, so I think he's nervous. Too. I think he's nervous. I thought though. he was, I thought um, was going to play there, too. I didn't notice IR either. <laughs> wow. It's the Jesse Day curse. Yeah. Man. <laughs> He made Jesse, that how many times has he? I think he's played IR three times. He played it against, at Nationals. He played it against Sid in Vegas in two. Was it or was it IL? Are you sure it was IR? It was IR in Vegas. I don't remember. Where so yeah, he's else. played it three times. I think. Or maybe he's just consi- I don't know. He maybe almost played it in San Francisco. There are many two-letter words that everyone just wishes were valid. Uh, OT. OT. Um, I don't know. There, there are many of them. Like, we keep thinking we can make a play, and then it just doesn't end up working with all of the words on the board. Yeah, OT is probably the, uh, the number one. But sometimes we just don't notice that we're forming an illegal word, and it just... Hilarity ensues. Yeah, he might be exchanging here. I think he might be. Like, he's like, he obviously isn't finding anything that he is like happy with. I think and there's I think just not a lot of there's just not a lot of options that don't give back a whole lot. And I guess that, but the X is unseen. I'm happy to exchange here. Oh, he is. Oh, a Tui. Interesting. Yeah. See, I think I'm a little bit ahead of you guys. Okay, so you already so, saw yeah. Tui. So Jason can play Dopey. Oh. Um, where's Dopey? Cake. Cake. No, he's playing Cakey. He's oh, I see. Over the right side, I guess. He is playing Cakey. I'm not surprised. Oh, Daryl is just drawn. Oh, oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> What the heck? Oh. Does it uh, play, I though? I don't think it plays, but that's no. just crazy. Oh, man. Daryl. Wait, did he <laughs> just, and, and he oh just kept, God. like, E-E-I-L, didn't he? He did, E-E-I-L. yeah. That is this exactly is, what he wants. <laughs> this is boss oh level. This is boss level. <laughs> I mean, at this at this rate, Daryl. Oh, I was going to say Daryl is fine, but Jason drew an S. Um, I don't think I don't think he has a bingo though. But like, I don't see one. But he's Jay, Jason that. has a really good chance of catching up, even with only one bingo. Yeah, if Jason can I get, mean, I mean, Fozzy kind of counted something. this one, but yeah, yeah. So if Jason, what does Daryl need to consider here with this play? Well, let's see. He's up forty. So I mean, what are his real threats? Getting big foot on is a real threat. There really aren't a lot of bingo, like vi- really viable bingo lines. I mean, there's the K and the Y, but those are yeah, those aren't not they aren't ideal. Amazing. Well, that's the good thing about Keiki, in my opinion, is that it creates a couple of spots where an unlikely uh, bingo may occur. And I mean, Daryl is just always like at the back of his mind, like worrying that that might happen. Like Jason might play Laura Keat, or he might even get something to the Y. 
And so the good thing yeah. about Keiki is it really creates that sort of diversion that Jason really needs yeah. at this point because the board isn't very conducive for him to, to make a comeback at this point. There's a, there's definitely a need for that type of thing. That's maybe true. he'll maybe he'll try to block block waxworks or something. Waxworks, waxworks. Oh my god! I mean, something like liked is the type of thing I might expect Daryl to play. Through the K, just being safe. Although the the lane next to a nearing might actually be a bit more dangerous. The sevens lane, it might be hit more often. It, it, actually, I don't know. You you might be right, and there's still a blank unseen from his vantage point and two S's. Yeah. The other thing you could do is just play D E F and just go like, go for your all own. in for yeah. Bingo himself. That's I mean, again, that's what likes. I mean, it's, I think he was no, considering I, I wasn't looking loped. at the... It looked like he was considering loped to the OP, which oh my is God. very that crazy. Would be, that is ridiculous. That e hook. Man. What's he laying down here? Die. All right. Oh, dies. Okay. Just getting the S, taking some points. I think he's just trying to keep up the scoring and block the S. Yeah, that's not. That's not, not on the. the uh, that's that wasn't that's not on bad at all. the I don't, I don't simulation. Mind. It wasn't in the list of plays that was generated, but I think it would probably. I think that's only. I think that's only because well. it wasn't one of the top like static choices. But I see Barry. Yeah, I think that's a fine play. I like that. So Jason see, can play a phony yeah. here if he wants. He could play Fredo. And uh, play what? Fredo, like Alfredo. I've He's I've not. gotten away with that before. <laughs> oh man. I, I think I think that's a. I think he's playing something player. on the top left. He's playing F. Yeah, or F, he F might or play of. F and Fop or off of not off. <laughs> um, if he was playing but, against Cesar, Daryl would bingo from the Y. I would definitely play um, of here. It, it's always interesting. Um, I find that keeping two E's or keeping O E, they're always yeah. really really like close. And it's it's oh that's interesting. He's played. F. I think he's um, sacrificed a few points there. I find um, two E's is usually the more bingo prone leave, and E O is usually the more scoring prone leave. So uh, yeah, in this position when I'm trying to bingo, I usually play O F. Um, yeah, I, I would mean, usually give slight uh, slight advantage to E E over E O, but it really depends on a lot of things. Probably it does. true. The other thing is um, Jason may want to create 13. a. He might be trying to create a lane right here with a F. I'm surprised he didn't play off, off for that reason, because the O seems like a bit of a better lane to start with. Because he just wants to keep these marginal threats open. Okay, so Daryl misses ball and plays blah. Just a little sacrifice of four points. Hmm. I don't think there's a seven in Jason's rack. Maybe like Dosseret. Yeah. Oh, really at this point. Yeah, I guess Quackle is confirming that there is no bingo. What? What is Estrus for thirty nine? Oh my goodness! E two Estrus is awesome. Wow. Oh. And imagine oh, because it, you know what it sets up. Doesn't it set up an O? If you keep, if, if you, does, he's not yeah. keeping his O after that, but it would. And Daryl doesn't have an O. I if to Jason crazy. if Jason but sees the, that play I would make that play if I saw it if Jason okay, but the sees problem that is, play Daryl has elevated for like a billion oh my god from the uh. E that Jason just set up oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god that is that sucks all right I'm chugging oh. this beer Jason's right now yeah for Jason <sighs> uh, wow. Yeah, I don't think that it's going to get blocked. I highly doubt that. I mean, I guess he could play re redos to the O and Patent Tour. <laughs> I feel like and, that is what he would play, though. So, like, he has the last R, and, I mean, if he wants to bingo again, which he kind of needs to, the R is helpful. Yeah, this is really tough. Anyways, like not even knowing what Daryl has for Jason, this is quite the tough position. 
lots of things yeah. to consider. He has a um, he has a lot of nice tiles. He has to decide which ones he wants to rid himself of. For how many? He has, many has, and he has yeah. the case S's. And the suggestion of S is kind of interesting. I think that's what I would play here. Just keep all this pressure on. You know, he's playing Doser to give himself a spot for the S. I don't mind that at all, but it's now not, we're going to see. Not on, it's not on the... Uh... Oh, oh yeah, I think there. that's a very smart play. Yeah. Very good play, Jason. Well, this won't come up, but the word elevated is one of those words that ends in ED that actually can take an S, can be pluralized. Elevated uh, takes an S? I did not know that. Yeah, it's it's quite the cool uh, cool word. Because like, usually when you're playing an ED word, you're just like, oh, it's the past tense. But some of them, I didn't some of them just that. like... Yeah, there's them, like 10 or something like that. Like that? Just like a few. There's like assureds, marrieds. Very yeah. few. Insureds. I think beloveds is good. Maybe. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, beloved, I knew. Because that's not a. Um, okay, so. Because be isn't a word. There's, I think there's a really, really cool one. Let me look here. Um, married. Oh, Un unmarried. Unmarried is a word. Unmarried it takes oh, that's an S. Great. Hmm. Daryl drew the O. This is over. I mean, the blank. This is over. No, he drew the O. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he drew the O. Not the O. Um, As Josh likes to say, the opponent always has an O. It's true, guys. Like, if you ever don't want your opponent to have an O, they will have an O every time. <laughs> Yeah, Jason's uh, streak is over here, looks like. Yeah. Have to end eventually. <laughs> I thought he was going to shake his hand like in the resignation of chess games. <laughs> <laughs> Tips over, over his rack. <laughs> You can hear a they don't slight, slight echo. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one hearing it. I can feel, hear a very faint echo of somebody, uh, somebody's feed. It might do have you, been me. I just, I just, both I of just you have uh, headphones on or no? I do. I have, have, a, I have a headset. Oh, interesting. Okay. There's only uh, one. So it might actually. Play. I don't know. Could be me. Though. Just There's dropping the one. W under N O. It's pretty cool. Yeah. He might kind of have to do that if he wants to win. I mean, it's very yeah, unlikely. He just wants to lose by not 150. He... Yeah. yeah. Well, but only no, if he wants to win. I don't know. If I don't think he if he doesn't if he doesn't want to win, that's okay, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I don't think going for the win is advisable. Well, it's still possible. I mean, there's it's not much of a sacrifice just to drop the W here. I mean, it might it isn't, like, no, it it really be behind. Isn't. Well, the problem is, like, if Daryl plays, but... if Daryl plays, like, what, three tiles, then he's not going to be able to get two bingos down, because there will only be six left in the bag after he bingos with nows. Oh, right. Even just spread-wise, though. Well, spread-wise. So spread-wise, now is probably fine. Yes, as um, Barton Cat pointed out, oil proof is the only eight. Ooh, that is lovely. I had to look up. I wouldn't have found that. Yeah, I think I might be just cutting spread here. Well, like, what's the spread cutting play? That's what we're, like, I'm trying to tween. understand. What, tween, maybe? Tween. 13C. Uh, underneath yeah. engineering, 36. That's a lot of points. I still think now is probably solid. Like, you've been going quite often with now. Like, A, E, I. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Tween still bingos sometimes. I mean, now would be a great play in certain situations to uh, to divert your opponent. If if there's like, if Jason has a uh, certain rack um, that doesn't actually hit under 
now very often, but hits the Y pretty often, like depending on what he draws. That would be a pretty cool play just to like create a diversion. It looks like it goes with eight of the seventeen unseen tiles. Well, actually, the blanks are nine. Okay. Right, so yeah. Okay. That's no, I think, he, I think he's just cutting spread. Imagine if he had given him a spot for oil proof with that, with some play. <laughs> That'd be very thematic for this game. Yeah, I don't think Josh saw all of them, but almost every game today has just been a lot of like bad timing by the losing player, like just wrong letters at the wrong time. <laughs> exactly like this. Jason's last time and... he was an E, <laughs> of the exact course. wrong tile he wanted, he did not want. There you go. I mean, I think J I think Jail's probably gonna block the Ids lane. Nope, he plays PO. He's going for a bingo. I mean, what is he really going for? I I, I don't know. Oh well, <laughs> drew pretty well. Does that bingo? I don't think so. What are the tiles but... he drew? Oh, I see. I mean, <laughs> I think That's Jason just, is going to play like Ope or something. Just Yeah, what about E-I-D-E or something? It doesn't really do much for him. Oh yeah, it blocks, the X is still unseen. It blocks X-I. It, or X-U. What? E-I-D-E. No, P-O blocks the X. What were you saying? Oh, that's why he played po Okay. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I saw I that mean, there, there, there are four space. tiles left in the bag. Jason here just really wants to get a seven-letter word or an eight-letter word here. Um, so he's going to try to do that and not like give Daryl too much back, probably, because he's just not winning this game. So this is really, really he rough could... position. I mean, yeah, something like Ope at least kind of makes his chances very high of getting the bingo, but... Uh... Again, well, Daryl like, back. It bingos, it bingos with a C. It bingos with the uh, L only at the top with A and Cell. And a soul only plays at the top. So, like, if Daryl blocks that, he doesn't really have a good chance unless he draws the C for inlaces. It's true. His his bingo odds aren't actually that good here, come to think of it. I didn't know C line was a word, as Kate points out. Yeah, I mean, Sea Lion would play here in college. Or... I didn't know. I don't know, like, anything about Collins. So let's see if there's any standings that I can look at. Oh, that is quite the idea. Nope, it looks like there isn't any Oh, Evans is still undefeated, though. Oh, I didn't check. Oh, I, guess I was just looking at TWL. But yeah, Evans continues his dominance. He's actually two games up on the field after seven rounds, which is pretty crazy. Wow. Yeah, and yeah he, that does not he beat, often. he beat Evan Borofsky by 86. Wigan just beat Dave Keenig by 16. 465 point loss there. Wow. Yeah, it's it's a battle. But Evans has the edge there. He's already going up 26 rating points after all that, which is oh, pretty high when you're rated that highly. For sure. I still want to see that 569 point loss. So do that I. That was pretty crazy. In TWL as well, which is, it might be, it must be a record. Mike Early beating Conrad Broad 575 to 569. What? <laughs> yes. That was yeah. in round four. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what happened that game. Is that a really record? Wanna... Probably I think, is. Because like, is, yeah. there was a, I think there was a game at like na the UK Nationals or something where for some some UK tournament where Dave Keenig lost by lost with like five sixty five to five sixty seven or something. So that's got to be a record. I mean, I remember. Um... Oh, is Stefan Rao playing in the end or no? 
I don't think so. Um, I, don't think he, I, saw I him. think he had a record. Uh... Yeah, he had like 550 or something. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but in in a uh, TWL Division Two, like the light division, the top four seeds are rated twelve ninety nine, twelve ninety eight, twelve ninety seven, and twelve ninety six. Nice. Just, it's just like the most contested division ever. Yeah. So the record, the highest losing game score in in TWL is five fifty two by Stefan Rao. Okay. So yeah, this is a new record. That's amazing. Not anymore. Wow. I I really wonder what happened that game. I'm, it's kind of unfortunate that, I mean, I have a feeling like neither player got a pick through of the board. Was it Collins or TWL? It was TWL. TWL. Wow. I know. That's why it's I like was going to say more. maybe there were like many challenges in the game and everyone just kept getting five points. <laughs> they just agreed before the game to challenge everything. Single challenge. Yeah, so Jason's just in such a rough position here. He probably has just as much of an idea what to do as we do here. Like, I know everything just has such a big downside. It's just like there's no great way to get back in this, like to even make it respectable. He like, could play A I D E through the I D in the nearing. I mean, no, probably not. Cause he just needs a second place to bingo as well. Maybe even like. E A R to the R and E trium, just like go all in for the bingo, because he's probably more likely to bingo than the pool on average than Daryl is. So there's something to be said for just going all in with the bingo, right? So he's thinking about East right now, East and Zaz. C I U X is in the bag, so I don't really know what he's going to end up drawing out of that. That would be helpful. Yeah, Lou sign doesn't or doesn't even can't even draw that. Um, you you can draw Lucens, I guess. Yeah, if he plays EA, <laughs> if he knows what's in the bag as well, which is very helpful. Well, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I he think he's probably gonna fish off, uh, ooh, fish off the E and draw the X. That's his game plan. <laughs> I might play A E at the top right corner here just to block like possible big X plays, even though, like, Daryl has just indicated that he doesn't have the X. It's still a remote possibility. There's to... And you could draw it. Like, a third of the time he draws it. Alright. Throw it in the towel. <laughs> Yeah. Score is 21. It, it creates lots of spots for the X that he's hopefully going to draw. Like you play Exile now, you can play stuff. Lex. Yeah, that's true. He's not going to draw the X, though. It was in the bag. I mean, who knows? <laughs> Quarter of the time he doesn't draw it. Uh, yeah. Uh, He'll probably find a way to draw another Q or something. Yeah, yeah this is really, yeah, I mean, really rough for Jason. Like, what did he really, yeah. what could he have done differently? There really I, wasn't a lot. I, I think he gave himself the best shots he could. Yeah, like, Etrium is the killer because that rack is so close to being Drac. But it just was 88 points instead. But, I mean, I can tell you what Jason did wrong, and it was his first play. <laughs> <laughs> just, kids never play QI. It's the most boring opening play in Scrabble, and it happens far too often. He drew the X. He drew the X. So C is lurking in the bag. I wonder if uh, Daryl's going to fish. Um, he probably won't, but he could. I don't think you I mean, get. You're not gonna get much unless if he fishes the O, he's gonna hit unblockable bingos. Sight. He'll get erotical in Cytolas, <laughs> but he can't. Well, I didn't, but I didn't again, see erotical. Can't. Yeah, but he can't bank on the C being in the bag. Obviously, it's not like he's. It's not um, like he's gonna lose. I mean, if, you, if, if he wants spread, he could do that. Well, yeah, it, yeah. it makes it very, very hard. Like Jason can't really block 
the uh, the S hook on ID. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just to even threaten a big, even if you're not going to get one, it really just dents, puts yeah. a dent in Jason's uh, in Jason's uh, score next turn. Yeah, I so yeah. I guess fishing. I mean, Bork could even hit if he fishes the O. He can hit with the N and the C, and that might be it. Well, he hits with Isolate the N. Really he, he hits with the N, the C. That might be it. Yes, yeah, so there's no guarantee it's even worth it. He could also just block the X plays, block Lex and stuff. But again, as you said, Josh, he set up X plays with East, so it's kind of hard. Yeah, well, that's a rough ending for uh, for Jason here. This is the last game of the day, correct? Right. It's it is pretty yeah. late. One of us. I actually don't see many tournaments that go that late. Well, are they. Uh, I guess they are an hour earlier. But even so, yeah, even Not so, an hour they're, earlier they're, they're, than Avery. No, Avery's. You're in. You're in Central Time, right? Yeah, and it's oh, seven true. ten p.m. Yeah, I guess they had a late start to accommodate for people drinking. That's no, I think they had a late start to accommodate for people like missing their flights. <laughs> That's possible. That too. <laughs> yeah, poor Cesar. So it looks like we have a couple of scores. Uh, Julia Bogle lost two fifty nine to five fourteen against Wes Eddings. Oh, oh, oh my wow. god! I hope this is not the beginning of the end. Yeah, I really hope. I want, I want her to do well. I, I, I'm glad to see her doing well. I hope she can pick back up. Jeffrey Nelson had a downfall. He's still playing against. Joey, though. Oh, and Evans completes his 8 and no day. He beat Matthew O'Connor by 97. So wow. Evans is almost at 2150 after the day. That's, That's insane. crazy. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Tim Weist currently in second. Let's check up on the light division. I don't even know who's Gene MacArthur is having a good day. Gene MacArthur is oh. 5 and no. Wow, uh -oh. good game. Uh -oh. <laughs> good game. <laughs> what oh is gosh. happening? He fished the, he he fished fished the, the O. Up. That's really bad. Oh, Daryl. Big. Oh, man. So that means three out of the four games. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sure happy. I'm sure Jason was sitting there just hoping that Daryl would not fish an O. Because he, <laughs> exactly. he has the remaining eight tiles on his, uh, on his rack, on his uh, score sheet, rather. And yeah, I'm sure he was just, just like oh praying. Yeah. <laughs> now that is unfortunate. But like I said, like uh, I don't know, uh, Daryl might mess this up. He might play he a pony. Could. or might miss something. My guess is we will see exile or something followed by Saitolas, and it will but, be a five twenty nine to three seventy eight score. I, I, but I think Jason could block Cytolas and hope he misses Erotical. So it's yeah, not, it's exactly. probably easier to find Cytolas. So, But I think it's how does he do that? I guess he could play Lax. In no, he could anything. play X. He could just play X. No, the easiest way to do it is to play Nixie and Lax. Nixie and Lax. Does that save an out in two? Four, scores 43. It's LU. It's got to go somewhere. I mean, I'm not really looking... How is it, where does it score 43? Oh, I see. Thirteen, thirteen B. It actually doesn't save an out. I take it back. Thirty-five. No, thirteen B. It scores. Nixie scores a lot, but he's just playing exile. I think he trusts that Daryl will find Saitolas. I don't know. And, I don't agree erotical. with that. I really think he should have played Nixie or X just to hope that Daryl yeah. would miss. Yeah. Erotical. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I, I don't. I. I Although the fact that he fished the O. I don't know. Just because it's so a high probability, I don't think I'd worry about that. I think I'd, I think I'd just play exile, cut spread. But hey, Daryl might miss Satolas. Who knows? He is stoical, stoical. <laughs> cool yeah, I don't know. I don't know optical. if he's seeing it. Maybe this was the right idea. Aloetic. Although Daryl has been pretty good. Like, he shuffles for a while, but he seems to find it every time so far. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so maybe Jason's really smart and he actually realized Cytolas is the hard 
hard one to find. Daryl has nine minutes to find his bingo. Josh, as you were saying, like, sometimes people just mess up these things. Not that this will affect the outcome, but still. What if Jason wins this game? Uh, yeah, it's a possibility. <laughs> are you are you mocking me, Avery? No, why? Are you making fun of me saying like anything can happen? I'm not saying that. Okay. <laughs> Even if I was, why would Actually, you care? You know, like how if, could news? There's how could Jason if Daryl, you know, if Daryl goes overtime by ten minutes looking for a bingo because oh, he's true. so frustrated with himself for not finding it because he knows there's two in stoical, but he just doesn't see the second <laughs> one. You know that could happen. Like that is Jason's best shot. So he should he should tell Daryl, hey yo, there's two words in stoical. Try to find the other one. And just piss him off. So what, if that plays, is, what if yeah? What if he plays like O eight Yakatal or something, and then Jason just plays his tiles randomly, and then ends up winning by one. I mean, that could happen. Jason, oh, that's true. Yeah, it, you know what? It, it it could happen. It's just unlikely. Josh, what's the probability of it? <laughs> oh I, man! I think, I think he's using the details tab of Quackle. <laughs> Oh, beautiful! Yeah, should yeah this is this is gnarly. Like the <laughs> is he? Gonna I wonder what Jason is thinking he right not? now. Like, like this is like uh, he's shuffling furiously. Oh my goodness! He better see he, it at this. Point. He might not find it. Can uh can whoever has a camera? Can you zoom in on Jason's face? I really want to see what he's doing because <laughs> he always has the funniest expressions in these scenarios. Like I remember, I zoom, put down zoom out so we can see Daryl's reaction yeah. on Jason's face. The final game of Lake George last year, um, I put down uh, M-A-L in one of the last turns. And I sat there because I wasn't sure if it was a word. And Jason was sitting there with this like half smile for like five minutes. It was it was so hard to read his expression. <laughs> I ended up playing it. I played it and he challenged it off immediately. But it's so funny. It's like, why is he laughing? So I'm sure he has the same expression right now. Just like baiting Daryl. I can totally picture Jason just like sh furiously shuffling, shuffling his three tiles right now. <laughs> have you guys seen the big snit it's the best video ever no you'll have it's to it. link it link it to me it's like in it, it there's this they're playing they're playing scrabble i yeah. hate they're that playing video. scrabble and someone has a rack. it's so good they have a rack of seven e's and they're just like shuffling madly <laughs> you'll have to show me it <laughs> it's so but, good because i i don't think daryl sees this it. bingo i wonder if he's looking at the y yeah. No, oh, he didn't he see it. Li. He plays Li against Jason <laughs> oh Lee. Oh my god. That's even worse. Oh my That's goodness. even worse. Well. See, we were all wrong, and Jason was right. This is yeah, why he's maybe, rated maybe over 2,000. Oh my god. Well, he isn't, actually. But... Well, he's going to be. He's currently right now, is what I mean. <laughs> wow, Jason, that's, that's incredible. Amazing. After eight wins, or seven wins. <laughs> wow. That's... That's unbelievable. There's there's a silver lining, I guess. Cause this so um, it turns out Gene MacArthur trash. also. So um, Gene MacArthur also pulled off the eight no day. She's eight no plus eleven seventy five. She destroyed. Very nice. Awesome. And there is Coast to go out. Hopefully he marked it as an S. And that is definitely what Daryl was doing this whole game, coasting, <laughs> coasting along. <laughs> Didn't you say that against when Adam Logan played that against you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, that, that seems to do it, guys. Um, 105 point win for Daryl, and looks like I think Jason's going to stay in first based on spread. Oh, no, really? he's not. No, Benji's going to be in first. Oh, Benji. He got his comeback that he's looking for. So this is. Right as yeah, well. Wes will be in second, Jason will be in third, and Daryl will be in fourth. And those are all the seven and ones we have to look forward to tomorrow. Awesome. We don't have any pairings for tomorrow morning, but if I remember correctly, we will have we will be starting the day off with TW no no Collins games. We'll have some yeah, Collins. Collins tomorrow morning. Collins tomorrow morning, and then who's commentating? David Webb and Jerry Carter. Um. Sounds about right. Not sure, though. And then, um, after that, we get 2017 North American Scrabble champion Will Anderson 
as well as Morris Greenberg. Awesome. And then, All yeah. Right, well, it's, gonna it's be, been fun commentating yeah. for you guys. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks to Josh and Jackson for tuning in and helping me out here. It's fun being with you guys. Yeah. And you we'll too. look forward to eight games of Scrabble tomorrow. All Thanks right. For tuning in. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good night. Cheers, you guys. Tune in tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Time.